Hello sheeple, Bad Influencer here, 2nd of February, uh, another day, another dollar, another uh, another day closer to extinction. So, still got the coronavirus very much around, all different variants. I wonder which one I'd prefer. Um, I don't think I'd want the Brazilian one. Uh, the South African one, yeah, yeah, it's a bit meh, isn't it? I'll probably, I'll probably wait till... Till a better one comes along, so um, I definitely wouldn't want a, a French variant. So, but yeah, I mean, there's, yeah, there seems to be uh, there's more variants than uh, than people in there, really. So anyway, uh, on another note, a lot of people say to me, "Get out of my house now." Generally, that's fine, but they also, as I'm leaving, they ask me, why don't you make more diverse videos? And I says, what do you mean? I says, I, I make loads of diverse videos. You know, my, my own apology to the BLM movement uh, was, was one. Um, I did a, a deep dive the other day. I hope you did uh, read that guy's blog. Um... And they said, no, in your sandwiches. And I said, well, I do, I do, I do, do diversity in my sandwiches, you know. I don't do the same sandwich twice. So you'll never catch me out on that. Um, and, and by twice, I mean not, not, um, not the same sandwich from the same store. I mean, obviously, I, I, I compare um, the same name sandwiches, like a BLT. So, but anyway, they keep going on and on, you know, all my 20 subscribers are always on my back, um, pushing me for uh, quality content, um, diverse content. Um, so today I'm going out on a limb and I'm going to try something new. Something new, he says. Well, it's still going to be a sandwich, but this one apparently is gluten free. This is the uh, May M and S made without meat, roast chicken and bacon, reduced from four pounds to one pound thirty-six. I mean, it's got to be. I mean, to have all the gluten taken out, I don't even know what gluten is, but um, but we're going to find out. We're going to find out because I'm going to open up this bad boy, and uh, we're going to crack into it. I'll see you in a second. Right, welcome back. Um, this is the sandwich on a plate. Um, I was going to show you the ins uh, the, the filling, um, but there you, there you go. You can have a look at the filling there. I was going to try and open the sandwich, but... Um, as you can see, as you pull the sandwich apart, it's coming. It's coming apart. So that will be the glue in the, in the gluten. So that's not met. That not there anymore. So right. So I'm going to take my first bite. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. It's just falling apart on me. That's very disappointing. From, from the off. That has disappointed me. This is what happens, MNS. This is what happens when you take the glue out of the gluten. Hey, you're just left with that. Look at the look. Oh, bloody hell. That is disappointing. Oh, 
Oh, no. I'm, uh, I'm not having that. <clears throat> this has been very... Oh, I, um, it's horrible. There's definitely something missing. And it's gluten, apparently. So, all wheat. Got no wheat in. Whatever, however they've made this bread, it's not good bread. Um, I mean, without wheat, I mean, is, is it even bread? No. And it's, I mean, it's fallen apart. But, um, oh. <laughs> this is, it's ruined my day, that has. So, I was going to phone up the BBC after. And they've, they've given me 10 days to pay for my uh, TV licence, which I cancelled in October. So I'm going to phone them up and uh, and see uh, phone them up and see what um, what the hell they're playing at. Keep sending me threatening letters. Uh, I don't watch your crap. I don't watch your crappy uh, BBC. No. I mean, look at it. It doesn't, I mean, there's nothing appealing about it. I mean, the people who have to live a, a gluten-free life, oh, I'll pity, oh, pity you. If this, if, if this is the, the best part of your day, oh, Jesus. I can't even say that the, the chicken and bacon tastes good. Because what it's wrapped in, I mean, it's like, uh, it's, a, it's a nothing texture. You don't, oh no. I'm very disappointed. Can you tell? <laughs> oh, on a day where Captain Tom is in hospital. Battling coronavirus. Um, poor bloke. Um, went off to Barbados after raising £33 million pound for the NHS. Um, and uh, Kate has come, come back and he's got, uh, he's got coronavirus. So, so get well soon. Uh, Captain Tom, I was hoping that this this was all going to be a successful sandwich, and I'd be able to say, "Yay! You know, come on, Tom! If I can do it, you can do it." Um, but I'll be honest, <laughs> this has turned into a complete disaster. So I'm just going to grab, the, put the last bit of it. I don't even know what I'm going to do with the other one. I mean, I'm going to eat it. But, uh, but I, I will eat it. Um, right. I, should, I won't be happy about it. I'll eat, I'll eat it off camera. And I'll probably make this this face between bites, sort of a Greta, Greta Thunberg, so, oh, 12 months of, uh, of uh, lockdown, self-isolation, I ain't crazy, I ain't crazy, uh, oh, and the bloody EU, hey, hey, they want all our virus, they want all our vaccinations, don't they, hey, hey? They, they, uh, they said, oh no, we're gonna, we're gonna stop them, we're gonna stop them leaving, leaving the EU. Whoa. Bloody hell. Actually, when I think about it, life, life's pretty crap, isn't it? Uh, Alright, so I'm gonna go and uh, dispose of this one way or the other. Um, 
and then I'll come back and uh, give you my final thoughts. So I'll see you in a second. Right, welcome back. Um, what a disappointment that was. So, I mean, if, if you've got an intolerance to wheat, then you've, you've got more sympathy. If, if that crap is what you have to eat on a day-to-day -day basis. Oh, uh, so for a score, well, there it is, isn't it? Zero. I ain't even going to lift me uh, hands up for that. If I did, it'd be like that. Zero. Zero. So, um, oh, people with intolerances. Eh, hey, what a, what a life they have to leave, lead. <clears throat> Just goes to show you how bloody good gluten is. So, I, I love it. I love it in everything. So, I'd love, I want extra gluten, I do, uh, if it means making it taste different from what I've just had. So, would I buy it again? No, absolutely not. Uh, if it was the last sandwich in the shop, not even if it was the last sandwich on earth, would I, would I eat that again? So, I mean, that's, that's the equivalent. For, for someone like me, that's waterboarding, that kind, that kind of torture. I mean, they say, oh, would you like a sandwich, bad influencer? And I'll go, oh, yeah, yeah, I'd love a sandwich. And they bring out a, a, a plate of that. Oh, I'd kill him. Kill him. So, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, Captain Tom is in hospital. So, uh, thoughts and prayers uh, to, to him. Hopefully, uh, he's going to be all right. Um... I mean, you'd think after raising £33 million, uh, it, it, it's uh, <laughs> definitely the NHS are uh, crapping themselves. We've got to cure him. We've got to cure out of everyone who's coming to hospital. The blokes who's just uh, given us £33 million, quid, we've got to do right by him, surely. So, so yes, I shall... Uh, Crack on with my day now. So, as disappointing it is, it is. Uh, hopefully it might get a bit better. Today's the kind of day, though, I feel I'll probably get run over. Um, it's just not It's just not going well. Bloody BBC harassing me. Um, Realising that gluten is required to, to make anything edible. Um... And then Captain, the bad news about Captain Tom. So, right. Oh yeah, that that Ursula, the EU. Oh God. Hey, they were about to um, introduce a hard border on uh, on the uh, island of Ireland. So just just to just to um, confiscate uh, vaccinations that they didn't order. So they got no right to, no rights to. You were three months behind the curve, love. So you know, you should, if you'd have organised yourself a bit, bit better, <clears throat> you'd be all right. So I, I want us to concentrate on uh, getting the, the majority of people vaccinated, and that's that's two doses. And then I want to see those uh, vaccinations, uh, whatever's left over, whatever we've, I mean, we've ordered about 12 billion. Um, I mean, you can't stop it. He must go, you know, when, when Carrie goes to bed, uh, Boris must sneak onto the laptop and after he's watched a bit of pornography, he jumps onto Amazon and orders another billion vaccinations. So... Or he's on eBay, you know, he's always using the buy it now, buy it now function. And oh yeah, I've got a little bit of a cold as well, just realised. Um, what was I saying? Um, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't that important, was it? Um, no, yeah, I, I want him to start, set. so anything we've got left over, I want him to share with the, you know, third world countries, or, or you know, so, so, or, or distribute through the Commonwealth. So, sod Europe. So, 
the way that that, that Ursula woman started talking so smugly, as though you know, or or I'm big Billy Bollocks, you know, and then uh, oh she she got well she needed and got a bit of a slap down, so and no one elected her, so think on think on you Ramonas, so. Anyway, I shall let you go. Um, I've uh, I've got to go and dig up some uh, Nicola Sturgeon and Alex Salmon gossip. Um, I think that's gonna uh, that's gonna be a big story um, in the next few weeks, uh, definitely before the election. Uh, could it be the end of Sturgeon? Oh, that'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? So, as long as Blackford went with her. So anyway, I shan't uh, delay you anymore. So thanks for your time. Uh, I'll find something better to review next time. Definitely not the Marks and Spencers uh, made without wheat, chicken and bacon sandwich. Blech. Horrible. Horrible. Right, so this is Bad Influencer. I am signing off and I will catch you next time. So take care of yourselves. See ya.